Now we'll go ahead and mount the battery box at the back of the robot behind the Arduino Uno and the sensor shield. For this we'll need the battery box. And this back of bolts and nuts labeled for cell box. We'll use the hexagonal tool and optionally I have prepared just in case we need it some pliers. I'll start by opening the battery box. As you can see, unlike in version 1 and 2 of the robot, it has a directly prepared connector that will go right here on the sensor shield. We'll open the battery box to expose the four holes where we'll mount put the bolts to mount it. Take the back of bolts and nuts and open it. Take them out so we can easily access them. Take one of the bolts and protrude it through this hole from inside the battery box and through the hole in the chassis and tighten and not on it. This one is done. Now we go with diagonal one. Again we protrude it from the top to the bottom and tighten the nut. The same procedure with the next one. And the last one. Now that all of them are in place, I can use actually, I was mistaken, we will not use the hexagonal tool. We will use this screwdriver for the, from the set to tighten them. They're Phillips. And the set conveniently includes Philips screwdriver. Here we optionally can use pliers to hold the nuts in place while we tighten. It's hardly necessary, but definitely option. It's not difficult to tighten them even with other players. The battery box is in place and now I can connect this connector to the sensor shield. The connector on the shield has this slot right here where this key will go. As you can see on this side there is no such key. There is key on this side and the key will go into the slot and click in place. The battery box is connected to the sensor chute. 